Hi friends, it's Rabbi Briskin with a thought for Shabbat. The NBA Finals begin tonight, and for the first time in more than a decade, I am truly invested. My hometown team, the Boston Celtics, will be pursuing their record 18th championship, and I am excited to see how they fare against the formidable Golden State Warriors. Now you may be wondering, rightfully so, why is my thought for Shabbat talking about a team and a series that few in our community, other than me and diehard basketball fans, are following. Well, I love bringing real life to Torah, and there are lessons about the Celtics roster that will be on the floor tonight that also connect to this week's Torah portion called Bamidbar. Now, the first lesson is about holding your head high. Parshat Bamidbar is the first of the Book of Numbers, and in the very first verses of the portion, we learn that God tells Moses to take a census of the Israelites. The Hebrew phrase used for take a census is se'u et rosh, which literally means lift up your head, raise your head, which we interpret to mean be proud, be counted among the group. Hold your head high. Now early in the season, the Celtics did not hold their heads high at all. The new coach was managing big egos, big contracts, some infighting, and individuals who were having a harder time playing together with their heads held high. In January, however, something switched and something clicked for the Celtics. And these individuals truly began to play as a team and together held their heads high as they went from 11th place to second place in their conference over the course of a few months. And now, after a grueling playoff series, are now in the NBA Finals Tournament. Now a second lesson from this Torah portion that connects to the Celtics involves one of my favorite teachings in all of Torah, and it focuses on this notion that every person counts and every person is valued. A Midrash suggests that the number of people counted in the census, which in truth was limited to men over the age of 20 who had formed the Israelite army, it said that the number of people counted is the same as the number of letters found in the Torah, 603,550. The Midrash teaches that if one letter of the Torah is missing, the entire Torah is considered to be pasul, unfit for use, unfit to be read from. And so too our sages teach that if one person in our community absents themselves, leaves, disappears, or whatnot, so too is our community incomplete and not as whole as it could or should be. The Celtics team this year is a collection of players ranging from superstar caliber to great to very good. When one player rests on the bench or is out with an injury, someone else fills that role. That person has a role to play and when each individual sees himself as part of the collective, then great things happen as a team. When each player shows up ready to play and gives it his best, when each lifts his head high and makes every minute on the floor count, then success is just about guaranteed, and we've seen this throughout the playoffs. These same principles apply to our community. We too are made up of different types of people, all of whom have something important and valuable and different to contribute. We all have a role to play. When we are working in harmony, then our community is at its best. Now let's not fool ourselves, we are not professional athletes. Professional fans perhaps, but not professional athletes. However, it is vital for us to raise our heads in pride, to show up, to contribute to our team, which in this case means community, and to always be counted. So friends, if I have tried to bring real life to Torah, so may positive lessons from professional sports inspire us to also live by Torah as we lift up our heads to contribute and to be counted. And yes, Celtics in six, go green. Shabbat Shalom.